Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we'll be learning about the Hugging Face uh, practical, like how we can use this Hugging Face library with the help of Python. So here I already created one uh, collab notebook and here I have already mentioned each and everything you need uh, for the Hugging Face, okay, practical understanding. So as I already told you, if I want to use Hugging Face platform with the help of Python, we need to install one library called Transformers. Okay, so this is the library. So Transformers library is having all the functionality uh, present inside the hugging face platform right so if you want to install transformer library so you have to execute this command called pip install uh, transformers okay now let me first of all connect this notebook and the resources should be shared guys in the resources section so from there you can download and you can also uh, code with me okay it is connected now now the first thing what you have to do you have to select the runtime uh, to gpu okay because I'm, I'm not going to use the cpu configuration machine here I'll be uh, taking the GPU machine because here we'll be using large language model. So definitely uh, you have to select the GPU based machine there. Fine. So let me select the GPU machine. And if you're using free collab, you'll be getting T4 GPU. And if you're using collab pro uh, there also you can uh, take actually different different. Uh, see, let me show you. If I click on change run type, see you can also take A100 GPU and L4 GPU as well. Okay. These are the GPU you can also access. So now guys, you can see my notebook is connected. Now, if I want to check the GPU, you can execute this command called nvidia okay hyphen smi so this will uh show you the gpu configuration you got so here i'm using free collab that's why i got tesla t4 gpu now first of all i have to install the transformer library here see transformer is already installed now see inside hugging face we are having different different tasks as i already showed you so if i let's say click on the models and if you see the left hand side you can see you are having different different tasks so here you are having different different tasks let's say uh, here we are focusing on generative ai that means the natural language processing so here we can perform different different tasks let's say we can perform text classification take uh, token classification okay all kinds of tasks actually you can perform whatever tasks actually uh, you see in the field of uh, nlp or in the field of let's say generative ai all kinds of tasks you can perform here so if I want to perform these are the tasks, I have to use one uh, functionality from the hugging face called pipeline. Okay. So here you can see I have imported this pipeline from the transformer. Okay. So it is available inside transformer. Now let's say uh, we are having various uh, NLP tasks as I already showed you text classification. Then we are having uh, here you can see text classification, uh, token classification, uh, table question answering, question answering, zero shot classification, translation. Okay. Now see, I have listed down all the tasks here. Now let's say if I want to perform text classification, so what do you have to do? Inside pipeline, you have to mention, I want to perform text classification. So this transformer library, what it will do, it will automatically try to understand you want to perform text classification. So all the code actually, it is having in the backend, it will execute that particular code snippet. That means it's a high level wrapper. Okay, on top of, let's say, hugging face, it's a high level wrapper, this particular transformer library. So you don't need to write the code from scratch. Let's say you don't need to write the code. I want to perform uh, text classification. So code you don't need to write from scratch. Only you just need to give this particular input to the pipeline. And pipeline will automatically take care. You have to do the uh, text classification task. And for this whatever, uh, let's say strategy you have to follow everything. It will take care. Okay. I hope you got it. Now see similar wise, if you want to perform token classification, you can mention token classification. If you want to perform question answer, you can also give question answering. If you want to perform text generation, summarization, translation, even also you can select the model. Let's say which model you want to use. As I already showed you, now we are having so many models. Now let's say I want to perform uh, translation. Now see, you are having different, different model. Okay, different, different model. Now see, you can also give the model. Okay, model ID. Now let's say I want to use this model. I'll just click here and I'll copy the model ID. This is the model I'll copy. And here I just need to mention. So it will automatically download this model from the hugging face. So you don't need to manually download it as well. So that much powerful it is. Okay. So that is why I told you, you have to master this pipeline concept because going forward, whatever actually let's say application will be implementing, you need this particular pipeline approach. Fine. Now see, I have given different, different actually example, a computer vision example also. Let's say you want to perform image classification in the pipeline, just mention image classification. Okay. Even also you can specify the model. It's up to you. Now see different, different example I have given just for your reference so that you can refer this notebook later on. Now let's perform one uh, specific NLP task. Let's say I want to perform sentiment analysis. So here you can see the task as well as uh, you will also get the all kinds of tasks in the documentation section. So here you are having one tab called task. Now see all the task is also visible. Read that computer vision, natural language processing. 
audios and multimodal okay everything is there now let's say i want to perform sentiment analysis and sentiment analysis is what kinds of task it's a text classification task i think you saw it's a text classification task okay now either you can give the text classification okay either you can pass the text classification here either you can also give the sentiment analysis okay both it will work so i have given sentiment analysis okay i want to perform sentiment analysis in the pipeline now it will give you one object called pipeline object and this is my classifier now inside that you have to pass the input let's say here i have given the input i was uh, so not happy with the last mission impossible movie now this is the sentence i have given now see if i execute this line of code so it will automatically download one specific model now see here i haven't given any kinds of model name so it will download one default model and it will try to predict whether this particular sentiment is a positive or negative okay let me show you see if i execute this code see it is using one model default model called um distill bird based case okay fine tune sst to english model and this is the link of the model if i open it up see it is using this model this is the default model okay and here is the prediction guys it's a negative sentiment and it is telling 99 99 confidence it's a negative sentiment okay that means it is performing amazing see that much actually it is easy to use this transformer library and that's how actually pipeline helps us to perform any kinds of task i want to perform so i don't need to write the code from scratch only i just need to mention that specific task name it will automatically do it for me now there is another way you can pass the input let's say so let's say here is my pipeline inside pipeline you can mention the task i want to perform let's say a sentiment analysis and the second parameter you can give the input let's say this is the input i have given i was confused with the a uh, barbie movie okay now it will give you the same output so either you can follow this approach either you can follow this approach this is the one line approach okay so both it is possible now if you are having any big text that time what you can do you can also use multi line actually string there also you can pass the text like that see again it's a positive review and this is the confidence score fine now let me show you how we can specify any kinds of model so let's say now i want to perform sentiment analysis and i want to use any other model let's say i want to use this model facebook bart lars mli let me search this model you will see this is one of the large language model you can see bart lars uh, mnli see again it's not a large language model i can say it's a language model because this model only can perform one specific task which is nothing but the um sentiment analysis but going forward we'll be using large language model like we'll be using llama mistral falcon gemini okay so these are the model actually we'll be using and these are the model is multitasking model okay that means large language model so there are two kinds of models are available guys uh, just try to remember one is the large language model that means llm okay and this is like only lm that means language model only so language model can only perform one specific task okay one specific task and large language model can perform multiple task multiple task even it can also perform chat operation okay chat operation because i already told you na how large language model was trained okay because of that uh, supervised fine tuning reinforcement learning uh, through human feedback these are the technique has applied but whatever lm model you can see it has only trained with the transform transformer architecture okay transformer architecture okay i think i showed you the transformer architecture example i think you remember fine so these are the model we are using this is called actually language model only it can only perform one specific task so that's why here we are mentioning the task name sentiment analysis now see here we are giving the model name now we can use any kinds of model just go to the model section go to the model section now let's say i want to perform sentiment analysis for this i have to use text classification now just try to get any kinds of model let's say you want to use this model copy the model id try to Uh, paste it here okay it will download that model and it will do the operation now let me show you see first of all this model will be downloaded from the hugging face now see it is downloaded and see the model size it's around 1.63 gb and this is actually sentiment i am ge uh, getting this a uh, neutral sentiment okay it's not a positive it's not a negative it's a neutral sentiment and this is the confidence score you are getting fine great now how to perform the batch actually sentiment if you are having batch data let's say multiple let's say uh, sentence that time how we can do you can use something called batch sentiment analysis so again just try to create a pipeline and whenever you are preparing your input data just try to men, uh, give inside a list you can see it's a python list and inside that i'm having different different sentence okay different different sentence now you have to pass this particular sent, uh, list inside your classifier now see it will take one by one all the sentence and it will show you the 
sentiment now see this is the first sentence sentiment second sentence third sentence and fourth sentence okay i hope it is clear but the model actually it is using the default model uh it is having only two label which is nothing but positive and negative but if you see this sentence it is having some emotion okay it is having some different different sentiment and if you want to capture different different sentiments you can use any other model let's say i will be using this model robata base go emotion model so this can actually detect a multiple uh, sentiment from a sentence okay you can see all kinds of sentiment they have mentioned see these are the sentiment it is having okay so that many of sentiment it can detect now let me use this model and let me again apply the same data now see it will give you different different sentiment so again it is downloading the model after that it will do the sentiment analysis now the first sentence it is uh, admiration second one confusion then uh, amusement then anger okay i hope you cleared so i can say this is one of the very powerful library okay if you want to uh, work in the field of genetic AI or natural language processing now you can also perform take generation task so for this in the pipeline you have to mention take generation only okay i think i showed you different different tasks that's why i want to perform take generation right now so take generation i think it is there natural language processing text generation okay now see they have also mentioned in the tutorial you have to give take generation in the pipeline okay and you can also give the model so the same thing i'm doing take generation model i'm using distill but and inside that i'm passing my input today is the rainy day in london now it will refer this sentence and it will generate the text okay based on this particular content now if i execute see see guys beautifully it has generated the text today is rainy day in london and one that no other city can remember or ever uh even know a few days here ago the police arrested okay see beautifully it has generated the text okay so that's actually you can also perform text generation now if you want to perform question answering just give question answering and you have to give the question as well as the context okay so based on the context it will uh so by referring this context it will uh give you give you the answer okay let's say this is my question what is my job and here i'm giving the context i'm developing an ai model with the python okay now if i give my question as well as the context it will give me the answer again you can check their uh, documentation for the question answering question answering so they're telling like that so you have to give the question context and you have to pass to the um, uh, pipeline okay now see uh, answer is developing ai model that means this is my job okay i hope it is clear so i hope guys uh now it is clear how we can use this uh hugging face platform if i want to perform different different tasks and how we can access different different model now let's say you want to use large language model that means llm so i think i showed you one uh amazing uh github open llm github so you can open this github and you can see different different large language model name let's say you want to use this model let's say you want to use um Let's see if we want to use this Falcon model. Falcon is a large language model. You can copy the name and simply you can go to the hugging face, go to the model section and simply search here. Okay, simply search here. Now see, Falcon model would be there. See, Falcon models is there. And Falcon is nothing but it's a large language model. It's not a language model. Okay, with the help of Falcon, actually we can perform different, different tasks. Even we can also perform chat operation not only that all kinds of models are available let me show you let's say llama 2 if you want to use llama 2 i'll copy and i'll come here i'll search for the llama 2 see llama 2 is from meta ai okay like that we are having some another model also let's say mistral is there then we are having something called jimma so this model is from google site so that's how we are having different different large language model and no need to worry going forward we'll be using these are the model but before using these are the model uh we have to learn some additional let's say uh, tools and technology like we'll be learning some genetic ai framework like uh, llama index then langchain and then we'll be also learning about vector database okay then we'll be learning these are the model as well fine so yes guys this is all about from this video i hope it is uh clear now so in the next video we'll be understanding about tokenizer uh tokenizer inside actually hugging face uh what exactly this tokenizer okay and why we need it okay why tokenization is required so yes uh thanks for watching guys and i will see you in the next video